Nobody does it better than Keith Urban, especially in the studio. That guy is just the king. And, and I knew with him and Dan Huff that they're just gonna nail it, and they did. Hi, I'm Ross Copperman, and today we're talking about John Cougar, John Deere, John 316, because I wrote that. John Cougar, John Deere, John 316. We were kind of just writing lyrics uh, and saying little vignettes of things from our past and our childhood that kind of defined us and made us who we are little American culture moments. And we didn't have a title. It wasn't like somebody sat down and said this title. It was kind of one of those things where like, we got to the end of the hook and it was like, everything I learned in my life was from, and then Shane would be like, John Cougar. And then Josh was like, and John Deere. And then I was like, and John 316. And then we were like, oh my God, that's awesome. But like, what's the title of this song? And so we just we just went for it. We were just, we just went for John Cougar, John Deere, John 316. And we're like, there's not gonna be another title that looks like that. We actually talked about like the album, the picture on the album cover being three Porter Johns. Writing with Shane and Josh is just, it is magical because they're two of the best, not only of our time, but to ever write songs, like way back in history. I feel like those two are, are just exceptional. Shane, send it to Keith. And the demo was very different from what Keith did with it. Keith went in and started from scratch with this, with, his, with an acoustic. I remember I was at Blackbird with him and Dan Huff when they were working it up. And I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, my mind was blown because it was so different from the demo. And he was talking to me about this modulation that he had heard Kendrick Lamar do. Where Kendrick went up and then came back down. And Keith really wanted to try that. And so at the end of John Cougar, you know, it modulates up. And he modulates back down, which shouldn't work, but Keith figured out how to do it to where it's it's seamless and it just feels right. I did always know that it was a unique and special song, but I did not know the scope of how special it would be until I heard Keith and Dan's production. And they just took it to a whole nother level. It was as unique of a production as it was a title. Keith was just the perfect artist for it, and he brought it to life in the most amazing way. I love every line in this song. 